taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. TVFCU, a place for all of us. I know we still have Halloween to get through, but I feel a bit like Santa Claus has come to visit us this morning. <laughs> Bill Wolf is here from the House of Hope, and like Santa, he always brings some good cheer when he comes. So good to see you this morning. Good to see you, Julie. You are talking a little bit of fall fun, though. Oh, yes, ma'am. Forget ma Christmas for the moment. Yes. Y'all have got a big fall festival coming up. This Saturday from 3 to 6 at Lee Station Baptist, yes, we're going to have a lot of fun food fellowship and lots of candy for the kiddos. So, so it gets, if, if you've never seen Bill on the show before, it can get a little bit of a confusing maybe because he'll talk about Lee Station Baptist Church, uh -huh. but then I referenced how he was here for this House of Hope. Oh. And so what happened was many years ago now, six? Eight. Eight. Eight years. The church uh, that Bill is a part of was given this house yes. that they turned into this house of hope, hope which serves the community there yes, serves in the Pikeville. Hope. Yes, serves whoever is in need, uh, we try to meet the need. Uh, I, uh, have, I have told this story often to people when I will use you as an example. Mm -hmm. Bill would come on, has for a long time, and he'll talk about things like the fall festival that he has going on or in a little bit you've got an auction coming up yes ma'am just to say you're welcome to come if you'd like and often you leave and you get a phone call from somebody who's seen you yes. wanting to make a donation yes ma'am which, which was never your intent no ma'am no we have we've been on several times of course we over the years we've had two cars given to us to find people who are in need of transportation for the uh, to get back and forth to work and so we've been blessed in that way. We've been blessed multiple times by coming on, on 3 Plus U. Well, I guess I just wanted to say that because I wanted you to know how deeply rooted you are in the mission of what you do. Yes, ma'am. So the Fall Festival, I can see your flyer. It's all the things you would expect, including some giveaways. Yes, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some drawings and things for the kids to win different gift cards to different places. So. Mm -hmm. So when people come to the fall festival, is it a day-long thing on Saturday? It's from, from 3 to 6. Okay. 3 to 6. How beautiful are your leaves right now? Oh, they're beautiful. Uh, the drive over this morning was extraordinary. It's just beautiful over there. You know, we live in these difficult economic times. Yes, ma'am. Has it hit your community even harder? It, it has. Uh, of course, the price of food has gone up uh, from what we can, in the research we've been doing, uh, electric bills and gas, you know, heating bills are going to go up by, they say, about 17% this winter. Uh, we've already this year uh, paid out about $10,000 in electric bills wow. for people. So it's extraordinary and going to get worse this winter, we feel like. So with food bills and uh, we've taken on a couple of projects with a, like we have a group home uh, in Pikeville for uh, mentally challenged adults. Mm -hmm. We we took on trying to keep them in food, which is which is a necessity. We've got to do this. So, um, but then the community is wonderful in donating to us to help these folks. We also have a project that we're looking at and going on and turning one of our buildings into a tiny home, where people just need a couple nights to stay where they've been burnt out or whatever. Mm -hmm. That we'll be able to bring them in and. Uh, and put them up. So is this taking the tiny home, that's a build you're doing, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, we have the building already, we just need to renovate it. Oh, so. I see. Mm -hmm. So, because that's always part of what's interested me in watching the transformation over the years mm -hmm. with the House of Hope, is that you begin with the gift right. of the home, and you just kind of sat on it for a while until you figured out how to use it. Right. And then you used it in a small way, and then that way grew and yes. grew. So as the needs shift, yes. your mission shifts. Right. And we've actually sold the home and moved everything to the church now. So we build a building there, and everything's there at the church, and even the tiny home will be there. So you're looking ahead. I know you've got the fun this weekend, but you're right. always forward thinking. You've right. got this auction coming up in November. What is that? We'll, we've done this before in the past. We'll have an auction at the Squatchy County Rescue Squad on November the 12th. 12th. That's on a Saturday. And what we're looking for is for local businesses and people to donate items to be auctioned off. Uh, and we'll have food that night. We'll have Anthony and Teresa's barbecue from Dunlap. They're donating barbecue. So we'll sell barbecue, hot dogs, and things like that there. And then we'll, we'll auction off uh, 
all kind of items. We'll auction off one thing that we're going to big that we're going to be auctioning off is ladies are going to donate pies and cakes, and those always do well at an auction. So, mm -hmm. so if ladies out there want to donate pies and cakes to us to auction off, uh, just let me know, and we'll be happy to get them. And uh, it's going to be a good auction. So it sounds like too, what you're doing is you're covering all different financial levels to yes. enjoy the auction. Yes, so yes. So you can do something for as little as ten or fifteen dollars, right. All the way up. Hey, all the way up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are you? So you're looking actively then for donated items. We are. are. Yes, ma'am. We sure are. We're what active. are some needs that you have in the community then? Needs that we have in the community. Uh, uh, right now, uh, the schools are looking for shirts, hoodies, coats all these kind of things. Uh, we, we are in big need of space heaters. Uh, I delivered two yesterday, and we, that's one of the big items that we need is heaters. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just early October, mid-October now, but we have a, you know, it's cold. Mm -hmm. This morning in the valley, it was about 28 degrees, so right. it's cold, and we need space heaters. All right, well, I'm glad to have you on again, Santa yes, Claus. Yes, Yes. To share <laughs> what your Christmas wish list uh, might look like. So yeah. go and enjoy the fun at the Fall Festival. Lee Station Baptist Church is the place to be. Begins at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3 o'clock, yes, ma'am. And then think about taking part in the auction if you're interested on yes, November 12th. Yes, ma'am. Always good to see you. Good to see you, Julie. West Shell Knife Trading Post is everything under the sun. Huge selection of vanities starting at $299. Unfinished cabinets.